Welcome to On The Beat everyone, I'm Troy Thompson. In the studio with me today is Dr Bethany Harston and we're talking all about psoriasis. It's welcome to the show my friend. Thank you. Before we get into it, we were saying in the commercial break that it's not just the physical condition, it's how it affects us mentally with psoriasis, correct? I do believe that is the case. When a person has a skin condition, psoriasis being one of many that we treat, mm. they don't always feel like the inside matches the outside. Yeah. Okay, so for people at home who don't know what psoriasis is, explain to them in, in layman's terms. Okay, so psoriasis is a skin condition that occurs as red scaly plaques and it, it really can occur anywhere on a person's skin. The most common areas are elbows, knees, and scalp, but a person's hands and feet, even fingernails can also be affected. Really? Yes. Okay, now, is it a genetic cause or is it environmental? There's definitely a genetic predisposition to psoriasis. Now, it's not necessarily something that we see dominantly inherited. So a person may have it, their parents may not, but their second cousin might. So there's right. definitely a genetic component to having psoriasis. It's interesting because um, I don't know whether you, you watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians, but Kim has been struggling with this, mm -hmm. and she's really brought it to the forefront of what topicals that she's been using mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. it as well. It happens almost every season at that discussion. So let's talk about treatments. Yes. Um, the most common treatment that we do for psoriasis is probably topical, like you mentioned. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think since it's an inflammatory condition, we mm. use a lot of steroids, basically steroid creams and steroid ointments, and they can be very effective for some, but not always. Okay, so what other treatments are available apart from the steroids? Yeah, I think that's where the exciting news comes in yeah. because there's an entire category of medication called biologics. Okay. Um, and so we use biologic drugs for immune system modification. And we use these for many autoimmune conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, psoriasis, Crohn's disease. Um, probably the most well-known of the biologic drugs is Etanercept or Enbrel. And it was really brought to the focus of people's attention when Phil Mickelson, professional golfer, right. went onto the commercial series with Enbrel for uh, injections for his rheumatoid arthritis. Okay, so yeah. and what are we seeing when you're doing these treatments? How soon is there a turnaround and does it work differently for everyone? Yeah, and so these drugs are injections. Basically, a person may have one shot per month. Oh, wow. Um, and again, we use them for many conditions. Phil Mickelson for his rheumatoid. So we use it for psoriasis and also for psoriatic arthritis. About 30% of people who have psoriasis also have joint pain and really? inflammation. And so these drugs, they usually take several months to really kick in and work, but they can be dramatic and life-changing. A person who has painful psoriatic arthritis or a lot of skin psoriasis lesions can see a dramatic improvement and really a, a, a big change in their quality of life when they're on these drugs. I got you. Very quickly, we don't have much more time. Mm -hmm. Is psoriasis curable? You Give know, us some hope. Troy, when we talk about psoriasis as well as many other medical conditions, we really talk more about control rather than cure. So okay. say for instance, if a person got on these biologic drugs, the injections, and their psoriasis completely went away, just as if a person is on blood pressure medicine for their high blood pressure. If they stop taking the blood pressure pills, the blood pressure goes up. Of if course. they stop the psoriasis injections, it's gonna come back. And so we really like to talk and give people hope, but we more talk in terms of control rather than cure. Okay, I got you. And I also think eating a healthy diet really does help as well. Yeah, you know, I think that's always important yeah. with any medical condition. There's not a lot of science medical science that. and studies linking diet and psoriasis, but I always think it's good to make healthy choices. I agree. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming Great. in. I love this topic. Thank you so Thanks, much. Troy. If you mm -hmm. want to find out more, there's all the information. You know, go and give Dr. Bethany a call. She will be happy to walk you through any concerns that you have. There's all the information up on the screen. We'll be right back.